Hey everyone, just wanted to do a quick video on my afternoon Arduino project. Um, got something pretty cool here, so let me give you an overview real quick. But what we got here is um, I've got my modular synth and I got my, my Volca Beats. And so basically, I'm just using my Volca Beats here as a, a clock source, which is it's actually fantastic for because you can send it an external MIDI clock and it'll convert it over to um, CV voltage. I mean, it's not very flexible, but it still gets you going. So right now, I just I, I don't have an external MIDI going. I just have it set to you know where I can set the tempo here on the Volca Beats, and then we get that clock going here to uh, my rotating clock multiplier. So I just have a a uh, stack connector here so one goes off to my modular synth um, you know and, mo and mostly goes to my white way also whenever I come over here to the mono -ohm, I get and then you know if I want to change the the tempo or the you know I just do that or I can if I want to set it to something specific you know, set it to whatever is here uh, but anyways, but that so that's where this yellow one goes. But this blue one comes down here to a jack that uh, I just soldered up real quick and put it on a breadboard. And so what's going on here is the tip of the jack is going to our analog input on the Arduino. It's going to analog zero, and then the uh, Arduino is just reading it. And then so here's the code that that does that. It's super simple. You know, it just reads um, our value, and then it's, uh, and then we have to do a little bit of, to math to get it to the, the the actual real value or the real voltage that's coming off the <clears throat> that's coming off the modular synth. And we just say, hey, if it's five volts, uh, you know, turn our LED on uh, pin 13 on. And if it's not, just turn it off. And so if we come back down here, um, pin 13 here. If you notice, we just have hooked up to our LED. And so the cool part about this is um, so if you can see here I'm gonna adjust the tempo and if you notice the LEDs looking faster as we turn the tempo up and then as I'm turning the tempo down it starts blinking slower and it does a pretty decent job so if we just you know have a hi-hat going at every um, on every step here it does a pretty decent job staying in sync not too bad. Um, that'll we'll have to wait until you know maybe we hook a brighter light up to it before it becomes obvious if it's actually in sync or not, or maybe if the, the intervals are a little bit further apart. But anyways, um, well, that's my progress so far. I'll keep you updated as I keep going.